Hey everyone and welcome to Dirt Baseball Recruiting and first of all we want to say thank you very much to everyone who participated in the video showcase event. In this tutorial here we want to answer a couple questions and the first one we'll start with is now that the showcase is done what's the next step? Um, the videos will take approximately four to six weeks and once the videos are done you'll receive an email with a YouTube playlist in it. So what you'll do is you'll click on that playlist and find your video. Now the videos are typically organized by positions. So if you're a position player and a pitcher, your video will be under the pitchers. Once you've received the recruiting video, you'll follow the steps to creating your profile and we'll talk about this in just a second. Now it's very important that you do not create your profile until you have your video. You cannot edit this profile, so don't create the profile until the videos are completed. If you've already done this, don't worry about it. Just send us an email and we'll make sure that everything is up and running nicely for you. So let's look at creating a profile. So the first thing I'll do is I will uh, open up my internet browser, and in my case I use Safari, and uh, it could be Google Chrome, it could be Internet Explorer, it could be a number of different things that you use. So what I'll do is I'll type in Google and we'll take it from from Google. So I would go to Google's home page and enter in Dirt Baseball. Now you can have spaces in here, you can um, not have a space, that shouldn't really matter. And push enter or return and we should be the first return here or we can go to dirtbaseball.com, either one. So I'll click on Dirt Baseball, and the big image here, the play button, or the home button at the top, all three will take you to the home page. So I'll just click the picture, and it should direct us right to the home page. So we want to talk about creating a free profile, and right off the bat you can see you have the option of a free profile or to find a player. So uh, let's click on free profile. So now that we're on the free profile, uh, you see it's a lot of player information, uh, address, and the list goes on. Now this list is pretty detailed, but this is what the recruiters and the scouts see. So take your time, fill it out, it'll take you about five to ten minutes, and, uh, and make sure that all the information is accurate. Now I'll jump over here to another tab where we do have everything filled out, and we'll just run down the list here. So you see I have the player information, I have the guardian information, uh, I have my high school information, high school coach's name. When you enter your coach's name, uh, put the first and the last name. We know that he's a coach, so let's avoid putting Coach Smith in this example. Uh, make sure to select your graduating year. Uh, be very helpful if you put the coach's email in. Um, that is a very common way that, that recruiters and scouts contact that coach. Um, in the primary positions, primary position, uh, the first one it is um, a required field so make sure that we do have a primary position listed and then bats, throws, uh, height and weight are also required fields. When you enter your weight make sure that it's just numerical there's no abbreviations for pound or the word pound um, just enter your uh, your weight in that particular blank. Now down to, uh, to some of the data that's captured and recorded um, we have all of this data so uh, don't worry if you don't know these things. We will uh, cross-reference the information that was captured at the showcase event, and so we, we will have that information in there for you. Um, down just a few, a uh, few more spaces. Uh, if you have taken a standardized test, just simply select yes, and then a few more blanks will pop up. Um, so just answer the questions accordingly, uh, and then fill in the appropriate information. Um, now one of the most important blanks is insert the video link. So let's figure out how to get this video link and then um, and then this should, process should be completed. So I've got another tab opened up here, uh, but you could open up another tab and then go to youtube.com. Now once you're on YouTube, you have a search bar at the top. So in this search bar, just enter dirtbaseball.com and then simply hit the return key or the enter key. So we should be the first return at the top. Uh, we want to go to the Dirt Baseball channel, so there's really two ways to get there. 
Now the first return here is the channel uh, link itself and you can see that because it's denoted by channel right here. Now the second way to get there is the name of the video is the first link at the top. The second link is the channel link. So this would be the channel link here, this would be the channel link here. So uh, we're going to click on the channel link and then shoot over to Dirt Baseball's YouTube channel. Now once you're on the YouTube channel you will see uh, a number of different um, areas of information. So first one is just the cover um, or the the main video for the for the page. Um, then we have a playlist there. We have uh, popular uploads, recent uploads, um, and then at the very bottom we have a playlist section. So this is where we want to get our information from. There's really two ways to scroll through the playlist. You can either click playlist at the top here, or we can click the arrow to the right and we can scroll through the playlist there as well. So your event will be in this playlist. So in this case we're just going to click on the Dart Video Showcase here uh, for, for an example. So we notice there's 70 videos in this particular um, in this particular profile here so uh, or this particular playlist. So we could scroll through all of the, the, uh, the videos to find our particular video. So the player name will be in here and, um, and also their jersey number. So should be a couple different identifiers. Now let's say for example we were video number four. We would click on video number four and that would take us right to the video in the playlist. So I'm going to pause the video here. Now I want to go to the top of the screen and I want to highlight the URL for this video. Now there's two ways to get there. I could either right click on the URL to copy and paste it or I could hit control C and copy and paste it. So in this case I am going to right click and I'm going to click copy. Okay so now we have our video I need to go back to the player profile that we've created here and I'm going to scroll all the way back down to the bottom and I'm going to click on insert video link and I can hit control V to paste it or I can right click again and click paste and now that link is pasted in there and then I would just fill out the information accordingly here so I'm not committed to a school so this blank is not pertinent and then to the security code if you get a security code that you cannot read you can simply click on that security code and it will change until you have something that you can read so we'll enter that code and click submit. Now once you've submitted successfully it'll take you back to the main page or the entry page and uh, you should be good to go at that point. So now let's just double check and make sure that we are in the database so I'm going to click on home again and we were faced with the option of free profile or find a player. I'm going to click find a player This will be the database that the college coaches use and that we send to the coaches and the recruiters. So they can scroll through here and pick any parameter that they want to find a player. So do you want a player information that has been verified by Dirt Baseball? They could select yes, no, or any film or any player that's in our database. So they'll just go through this list and click information accordingly. So I want to see if I am in this database now. So I'm going to type in my first name is Hayes and I will click search and you see I have two entries. Here's the one that I just entered the 2017 address uh, or 2017 graduating year so you can see that I, a coach or recruiter can send me an email, see all my information, click my skills video or they can just check out the details on my profile and there's a lot of information here that they can see. So let's just click back and then we will look at sending a skills video or viewing the skills video. So they click on the skills video and it goes straight to video number four. Right here is playing at this point in time. So, so that's as simple as it is. Uh, thank you for watching Dirt Baseball Recruiting. And if you have any questions, feel free to email us, Hayes at DirtBaseball.com. Thank you very much, and we hope to see you on the field soon.